an analysis of the dominance of the city mural. Painted by Cleveland artist Ora Coltman, it was intended to be, in the artist's own words, a glorification of the genius of Cleveland, which, contemptuous of the obstruction of the river and its valley, had thrown across it these broad level highways, making one community out of two. The two communities being connected here are Cleveland's east and west sides, which are represented by the left and right hand side panels of the painting. The panel on the left depicts the Ohio Bell Building, which was built in 1927 and served as the headquarters of the Ohio Bell Telephone Company. The building stands tall, towering over the other smaller industrial buildings at the bottom of the frame. This bastion of business and its commercial surroundings perfectly epitomize the mercantile east side. The panel on the right depicts St. Theodosius, a Russian Orthodox church that was constructed in 1912. Below it sits the Tremont neighborhood, which has functioned as a home for immigrant populations in the city of Cleveland since the 1860s. In the painting, St. Theodosius hovers over its neighborhood like a guardian angel, though it and the Ohio Bell Building share similar positions in their respective frames. St. Theodosius, surrounded by the colorful homes on the hill below, seems far less imposing than its counterpart. Despite their differences, these two aspects of Cleveland life are nevertheless connected in the last panel of the triptych. The largest single painting of Coltman's career, standing approximately six feet tall and 11 feet wide, the middle panel is an expansive view of the flats, the haze of smokestacks billowing in the background, and a tugboat working busily in the fog express the city's bustling spirit. Meanwhile, the Cuyahoga River reflects the silhouettes of the stoic structures that surround it, and a working lift bridge proudly takes its place in the center of the frame. Behind it, the Detroit Superior Bridge connects the east and west sides of the city together, linking the two outer panels of the painting and making one community out of two. Dominance of the City is a truly magnificent portrait of Cleveland from one of its great artistic masters.